some would say the best team in the NBA. So you just got to go in there. Um, don't think about that play aggressive and try to fight and battle and put ourselves in a position to win every game. You excited just the way you've been playing? I mean, you're going to play a lot of minutes, obviously, in this series. Are you looking forward to it? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, last year, I didn't get played too much in the playoffs, so I'm definitely looking forward to having a big, bigger role in, um, in this playoff series. What did you learn from just the experience of last year and being in the playoffs? Last year, um, like I said, I didn't play it much, but just watching those guys and seeing how the atmosphere and how, how much different it is um, compared to the regular season. Teams lock in more into tendencies. They know plays, and they try to... We try to take um, certain people out of the game, so just being ready, being ready and prepared for that. Are you ready for that crowd though? Game one at Golden State. Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna be crazy. Um, the Oracle Arena. Um, it's a great atmosphere to play in, so I'm definitely ready for that. Maybe about the challenge of you know they play small in the lineups at times. You might have to play to five, match up against Draymond. How, how do you feel about that challenge? Um, I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, I, I played it. I've guarded Draymond multiple times. Um, here here in Portland and. I felt like sometimes I've done a pretty good job on him, and I'm just going to try to make it tough and and, pre and try to pressure him and, make, like I said, make it difficult. That's, that's do all I can really do. If they pull you out along the perimeter and stuff like that? Oh uh, yeah, I'm definitely comfortable with switching. Um, we've been doing a lot of that throughout the year, so that's not going to be a problem. Yeah. What is the key to defending Draymond? Um, you got to pressure him because he's a playmaker. Um, he'll pick you apart if you don't get into him. So um, if you play off him, he's just going to. Survey, survey how the defense is playing and get um, guys like Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, and Kevin Durant open. That's what he's out there to do, play make. So I just got to pressure him and take away his vision. If, uh, if Nurk is not available to play, do you feel like you have a little more added pressure of being one of the you know, few big men, I guess? Um, like I wouldn't say there's any pressure, but um, the bigs that's out there is definitely going to have to step up. Me, Al Farouk, uh, Myers, and Mo. Right. Those are the guys that will be taking those minutes, so we got to be ready to go. Big, t big time question for me: Are we keeping the hair like this for playoffs, or are we changing it up? Um, yeah, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it redone tonight, so I, I might go with the two braids. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. We'll see. Two braids has, has treated you well, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so I'll probably just continue to stick with that. We'll see. Who's doing it? Um, I'm going downtown tonight. Um, somebody I know downtown is gonna do it. Um, CJ said, you know, he's not the biggest fan, but you're comfortable with it, and that he appreciates that. He respects it. What do you have to say to that? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about too, what other people are really saying. I'm going to do what I, what I feel is comfortable. So. And that's what he said. He said he really respected that. And you know I like it. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. Yeah.